Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the strategy for endodontics. So we all know that endodontics is something that is related to root canal treatment and uh, we might have had the experience in our final year or at least in our internship for the root canal treatment. So the similar approach, the stepwise approach is required for uh, approaching this particular subject as we do in the RCT. So first of all, you will be requiring the knowledge of the anatomy and the morphology of the tooth right so suppose you are starting with the uh, anterior tooth so you should know the probability of having two canals in the anterior tooth if you are starting with the uh, upper first molar you should know the probability of getting the fourth canal and if you are starting with the lower molars uh, the first molar then you should know the probability of having the fourth canal and how many canals are there what kind of uh, preparation should be there, excess cavity preparation should be there, uh, where whether the two canals will be in the mesial root or in the distal root, all that knowledge is prerequisite for starting the root canal treatment and that is why we have to approach the anatomy and morphology of tooth before starting with the endodontics itself. Then we should know the type of instruments which are required, right. So you should know the different type of instrument, the different classification of the instrument and you should know the use of different instrument which uh, particular instrument is used for extirpation of the pulp that would be your approach which instrument should be inserted first in the uh, canal uh, which instrument can be used for knowing the working length and all, everything you have to have a good uh, uh, approach and good clarity over that right and then after you do that then you should know something about working length right and then you should know the different materials which we are going to use in the uh, while doing the RCT right. So the materials that can be your irrigants that can be your intercanal medicaments that can be your obturating material also right. So different materials you should have a good knowledge of those and then when you are starting you should know the cleaning and uh, shaping procedure or we can call it the biomechanics how and what type of motions are required, which type of files are required and uh, how you should uh, put the irrigants there and what should be the timing, what uh, type of irrigant should be used in that, which two irrigants cannot be used simultaneously, all that knowledge is required and that is what we call the biomechanics and the irrigants also, so the nature of irrigant and that is uh, read under the heading of the cleaning and shaping and after that. Uh, after you know the biomechanics and you have cleaned the uh, uh, canal completely and after that you should be knowing the um, uh, obturation right. So the technique of obturation, the materials of the obturation and all those the advantages and disadvantages of different type of uh, uh, techniques of the obturation all that you are going to read in the endodontics and then some other parts of the diagnosis, the tomatology, all that is something that is considered as apart from RCT. So uh, this is the whole gist of the endodontics which we have to approach. Now let's talk about the weightage of endodontics in NEAT MTS as well as in your INICT. It's going to have a very impressive percentage, almost 3% questions are going to come from it and that would be 6 to 8 questions out of 240 questions in NEAT MTS. Now the questions uh, owing to the uh, nature of the subject as well as the uh, fact that we have been studying this subject uh, in our whole general practice as well as in our internship. The questions which will appear from this particular sections will be little tricky. I repeat the questions will be tricky and you have to have an advanced knowledge of this particular subject before you get uh, into your examinations hole. So uh, if we see like uh, the total analysis of the previous years. So in 2016 there were 6 questions, in 2017 there were 8 questions and 2018, 19 and 20, 7, 6 and 7 and this year also 2021 there were 6 questions. So at least 6 to 7 questions are going to come from there and the questions generally are directed on the clinical scenarios and these are directed on the newer advancements in the materials, in the techniques, newer types of files. So uh, you have to be updated about the different concepts and different advancements in this particular subject. So this is not easy 
remember although it is a short subject but you have to have a good strategy to clear this particular subject right so, so if we talk about the books to refer for endodontics so there are three important books which we have to cover and the one which we have to cover thoroughly is your Grossman's endodontic practice and we can consider almost 80 percent of the questions coming from this particular book only then second very important thing is your Cohen that is pathway of the pulp and this is again very important book and especially for the anatomy and morphology of the root canal systems you are going to refer this particular book for sure and for newer technologies also this particular book is of immense importance and if you want to study about the microbiological aspects the different bacteria the different microbes which are inhabiting the root canal system then this book is very uh, uh, important for getting a clear knowledge of microbiology of endodontic system so these are the three books which are recommended for endodontics and uh, these books are compiled in a simpler form uh, considering your NEET and as well as your INICT so we have uh, compiled the important information especially in the excess cavity preparation if you see the important values even the numbers are important and those are compiled from the Cohen the pathway of pulp right same way dental pulp is also derived from Cohen so this way we have created this particular bite section which will give you a clear and comprehensive coverage of important books because it's not at all humanly possible to complete all these three books in a very short span of time of course Grossman's uh, can be done in a short span of time and you have had read this book in your internship as well as in your final year also so this is doable but doing the Ingalls as well as Cohen's becomes nearly impossible to complete that within one week of time and endodontics since it is going to fetch you for hardly six to eight questions and those have to be of advanced level so uh, we recommend that you focus on the bites before you go ahead with the books or uh, if you have enough time then you can go through the books and we recommend after going through the books you should read the bites because it is a compiled and short form of the important information that are going to be asked in the exam now coming to the tasks so first thing dental pulp and tooth morphology as i have already told you that the dental pulp uh, nature of the dental pulp the uh, nerve supply the blood supply as well as the tooth morphology that means the anatomy of the pulp cavity system okay so that has to be read clearly and if you want to refer cohen you can of course refer and same way excess cavity preparation then you should know pathologies of pulp as well as the periapical pathology so these will be giving you a clear picture of the diagnostic aids how you will be diagnosing whether the pathology is related to the pulp and that's going to uh, <coughs> you have to do the endodontics and same way how it has progressed to the periapical pathology so diagnosis is an important part then of course you will be having a good knowledge of the instruments materials and devices then of course after knowing the instruments you should know the working length and you should use the important instrument or the particular instrument indicated instrument and do the cleaning and shaping using proper irrigants then obturation will be required so this all comprises your steps of the rcts and these tasks are immensely important for your exam then dental bleaching uh, it is something at least one question has been asked since many years in your uh, this neat examination then surgical endodontics is something in which you have to have the basic overview nothing in uh, very much details you should know the type of incision and all then endodontic traumatology a very important aspect of the uh, endodontics and at least one question is going to come from this particular section either in the pediatric patient or in the adults so it is a overlapping uh, topic in your pediatric also so this is very important then of course endodontic diagnosis is important one question generally comes from here restoration of endodontically treated teeth actually uh, this particular topic is asked when the examiner wants to set a difficult paper so this is something which is going to be asked in the advanced level of paper and of course the images becomes very important especially of the instruments and at least one question is asked in INICT from the instrument portion also and after you cover all these tasks there will be a full syllabus test to understand the uh, coverage the understanding of different tasks so these are the important tasks and if you are thorough with these tasks i uh, we 
generally presume that you will be done with 90 to 95 percent of the questions which are going to come in the exam. So basically the endodontics which is considered as the heart of dentistry is going to comprise certain procedures, certain tools of your RCT as well as you should know some extra information uh, like uh, uh, for the bleaching thing and for the uh, uh, restoration of endodontic critic teeth. So these are beyond the RCT coverage. So these are the things which you have to complete and you have to have a good hold on to get good marks in endodontics. Thank <laughs> you.